And speaking of which, I'd like to introduce our next guest. This is a, a she's a wonderful, wonderful musician, exemplary human being, uh, Bridget Kibby, harpist. See you, woo! It's so good to see you. Hi, Bridget. I feel like you have this secret basement that's like a full recording studio with all this amazing lighting, and I'm seeing you in it. It's just like awesome. How'd you know? <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> and it's so nice to see your place. I mean, I just remember like Hi. our many rehearsals there, and I miss it so much. But you know, it's gonna come back real soon. Oh yeah. It's you here. And the fiddle sure. right here. Yeah. We'll be back together soon. Uh, <laughs> but hey, you know, like um, you know, Vivo won't be happening in the same way that it always happens. But you know, like I will tell you what, um, you've been. Uh, your name's been come up, coming up a lot from our audience members. Like, you have a lot of fans here. Um, and they're, they're just like, oh, the, the harpist, Bridget, when is she coming back? And we were, you know, I, I think they're going to be really happy to see you um, in our, you know, digital adaptations and everything. Um, but t please tell us about your experience here, you know, live. I absolutely love your festival. Vivo is really operating as the vanguard of chamber music. And I think the way you do that is kind of allowing for um, a lovely two-week template for friends to come together and really dig into repertoire. Sometimes you fly in and you, you spend a day preparing a concert and perform, but two weeks allows you to really dig into the repertoire and then to explore Columbus. Yeah. In Ohio, that's so special for me to see all these venues that you are developing and to try the different acoustics. And you're very thoughtful about your programming in terms of which pieces will resonate the best. As a harpist, I'm obsessed with resonance. Um, and I just think you guys are so super savvy and fun about the way you make every event in incredibly inclusive while welcoming your audiences into a sacred space. And that balance is really hard to create. So I love Vivo for that purpose. Oh, thank you so much, Bridget. And also, like, yeah. I think it's so cool, like, that we can welcome you back to your home state. And I know yeah. that I understand there are a lot of family here. Uh, that I, so I always find that really cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, yes. My mom is one of eight siblings. It's the Nestler clan. It's a German family that came over six generations so ago. Cool. And if you add up all the members of the Nestor clan, which is now, I guess, three generations, there are 50 of us and counting. They keep having babies. It's just, it's growing every year. So it was so fun to play a couple years ago and have all the cousins of my generation show up to a concert. I think they took over like a third of the house. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, so, the reunion. The kitty yeah. clan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. You know, like the first uh, season you came here was the second season. Um, and yeah. the, I think the first piece you, the first notes you played at Vivo, I believe, um, were the um, from the WC trio for flute, viola, and harp. Um, and I remember before the uh, actual performance itself, uh, one of my favorite memories um, at Vivo actually is a day where we went into the radio studio, at WSU uh, studio to do a live performance there and do a little talk and interview. But and you guys, you, Matthew Lippman, violist, and Jackie Cordova, Arrington, flautist, amazing musicians, the three of you. It was like a dream team. Um, and you guys knocked everyone's socks off at the studio. But then afterwards, it was supposed to be our lunch break. But you guys were asking people in the studio if there's a room where you could practice more, where you could rehearse even more. Um, and that, I remember, like, gave me goosebumps because I know what it is like when you're like, you know, just like touring from one series and one festival to the other and you're juggling tons of rep when you get that chance to have some alone time and like just kind of downtime you take it you know <laughs> um but you guys you guys were so committed to making the music um and bringing it to the highest level possible that it was it was very moving for me to see um and made for for my from my perspective as an artistic director um just like made all the work kind of worth it um but i oh. Yeah, I have a similar memory, actually. Yeah. And I think that really points to the fact that you curate your musicians, like you really choose um, musicians that you feel have a great chemistry with each other and on stage. And so it was my first time working with both Matthew and Jackie. And I have since worked with Matthew many times and Jackie, I would if she lived closer. Um, but, you know, as harpists, we play the WC trio I mean, millions of times. My former teacher says she bought her house with the WC trio, right? <laughs> so I think it's amazing that I remember that working process so much because Matthew and Jackie had so many interesting things to say about the piece that kind of broke me out of what I was used to um, and vice versa. I think we really had a lot to dig in. And so we we really like a good collaboration and any good friendship is you're, you're sharpening each other. You're being honest about what you want to work on and you really dig deep. And then when you get into the performance, you can just let go and fly. 
So I felt like that was a great example of that really fun collaboration where you're really hard on each other, but you're laughing at the same time. Absolutely. So. And, you know, like, let's just check it out. Let's check out the performance because it was, it was so beautiful. Oh. And, you know, like the a performance is a culmination of all the work. And like, I, I for me, like the working process is maybe like even more special. Um, but like, wow, as an audience member, what a joy it was to listen to that WC. Uh, and uh, awesome that we can watch it now. Th Bridget, thank you so much for being with us today. Um, and let's... It's a pleasure. Thank you. And let's enjoy the WC. <laughs> 